Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. In today's video I wanted to share how I'm going to be removing my tape-ins. I have a few tape-ins throughout and I'm going to be removing them using this remover right here. I do have a video on my channel how I remove my tape-ins. Fairly simple and straightforward but I figured since I'm going to be removing them and putting new ones in I might as well show that. And then also applying some newer tape-ins in my hair. I have some newer ones right here using single-sided tape. So this video is kind of focusing on a single-sided tape because all the videos that I have on my channel are using traditional double-sided tape-ins. So with fine thin hair it can be it can be a little bit of unnecessary weight. So a few people commented in I think a few of my videos saying I should try single-sided tape and I've never heard of it. I googled it, researched it, and I feel like it is an incredible concept. I went on Amazon and found some on Amazon. Let me actually show you a piece right now. So with single-sided tape you're only going to be using one extension section. Instead of sandwiching another one on top, you sandwich a tape on top. And I'll show you what that looks like. So I have an extension piece right here. This is one section right here. I plopped it on top and then I went ahead lifted it up. It automatically grabbed some of that hair and then I put a single sided piece of tape on top. This way you're eliminating an entire section. You only have one section of extension section and on the other side is just the tape. So it's a lot less weight on fine thin hair and I think it is just such a great option so I thought I would share because I do have a few videos already on my channel sharing how I do my own tapins at home but with this method I feel like it's just so much better for fine thin hair so thank you to whoever mentioned it. I think it is amazing for fine thin hair. One thing I will say though is if you're looking for length and volume it can get a little bit tricky because you're not sandwiching two together you're only sandwiching one so you're going to have to do a lot more sections to get that same effect if you're looking for like adding a ton of length and volume. For me, I'm just looking to fill in a few pieces just to make my hair feel like it's a little bit more full, has a little bit more volume. So I think this method is for those people that are looking to kind of keep the length and just add a little bit more fullness and you don't want to deal with clip-in extensions, taking them in and out. You want something that's a little bit more semi-permanent. With these, you can wash your hair, you can sleep with it, you can wear them, I would say, anywhere from four to six weeks as they grow out, and then you remove them, usually take off the old tape, put a new piece of tape on, all that good stuff. You can find so much great information online, but today I kind of wanted to focus mainly on single-sided tape and how that works and share just how great it is for fine thin hair, if you have fine thin hair like I do. But let's get right into removing the old tape. Go ahead and move that hair out of the way. And I have this remover from the hair shop. I've used it several times in the past. I think it's a really great remover. If you don't have a remover, I would say isopropyl alcohol is a really great option. I've used that in the past as well and it worked pretty well, at least in my experience. This one is nice because it kind of already has a tip. So it's just so much easier to use. But what you want to do is, let me zoom in just a smidge so it's easier to see. These types of products helps the tape kind of lose its stickiness. So you're going to take the tip First, I like to kind of squeeze some right on top. These aren't really ready to be replaced. I just felt like doing a video and replacing them. The hair is getting a little bit dry. Not too crazy, but just like a little bit dry. So I was like, you know what, let me just remove it and do a video. And then what I'll do is kind of try to squeeze the tip in between the two tapes. Just to kind of like really get it in there. That way I can squeeze that remover in there. And it helps the tape lose its stickiness. And this way I'm able to just peel it off. So I have like a little gap that I made. And just continue squeezing. Do not pull. You don't want to pull. Do any unnecessary pulling. Just keep going in, adding a little bit more remover at a time until the tape completely comes off. I like to do the top section first, remove that. It should slide right off, no problem. And then I'll go in and apply a little bit more remover to this side so that the tape kind of loses its stickiness. And then you just take this tape right out you should be able to pull it right off no problem right so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the rest off camera I just kind of wanted to show how easy it is to remove it and then I'm gonna go in and apply a few new pieces and show you how the single-sided tape works. So I took out all of the extensions and I'm gonna go in and apply some new ones. You could technically, you should be able to technically re 
use your extensions several times up to a year some of them more some of them less these were from Amazon and they were still fine I could have reused them I just I want some new fresh really soft ones I've had those in for a few weeks and I just want to apply some new ones so this section right here already does have a tape on it I have some right here that I put in and then I took out and it still has the tape on it I'm gonna have to go ahead and remove this tape and put on a new a new set of tape on there and most extensions that you buy are going to come with replacement tape so I have some replacement tape right here so I need to replace some of the tape on these because you cannot reuse the tape so you just kind of like peel it off the corner and just peel off the old tape now that the old tape is off it's time to put on some new tape that's very easy to do and the replacement tape is double-sided because you need one side to stick to the tape and extension section and the other side is going to stick to your hair so for the replacement tape it does have to be double-sided just peel off these white tabs right here to expose the tape here's the tape I'm not sure if you can see it because of the light but there's the replacement tape right there and you're gonna go ahead and align the extension piece on top of the tape you can see that there's like rounded one side has rounded corners the other edge is flat similar to the extensions so you just want to make sure that you align it properly so starting from one side to the other just put the extension piece on top aligning it with the tape press it down Hold it and then when you peel it off, peel the extension off, it's, you can see that it has the extension replacement tape on the back side. So the way that I apply tape ins, I just want them for a little bit of volume. So I'm only going to do one line if you will. If you're going to be doing like fullness and length, you're, uh, you're probably going to do multiple rows, maybe three, four rows. So first things first, you're going to want to part your hair. I'm going to start from like right here and part it downward in like a U shape of sorts. And I do have a mirror right here, as you guys can see, so that I'm able to see what is going on behind me because otherwise doing this yourself, it can be pretty difficult. And when you make your part, you want to go in and make sure that you have a very clean part. That is very important. You don't want a zigzag part. You don't want like random pieces of hair just kind of lingering that are gonna get caught in the tape. You wanna make sure that you have a very clean part. So I'm gonna pin this up. I'm gonna go through and actually create a nice clean part using a rat tail comb. I think I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five tapes here. And then I think I'm gonna probably bring one closer here and here. Um, higher to the top but for right now. I'm just gonna start right here in the back. So I'm gonna take my tape in section Peel it off of the replacement tape and you're gonna place it a few centimeters millimeters away from the root if you have it too close to the root you will feel it that it feels kind of feels like it's pulling it's not comfortable but then at the same time you don't want to place it too far down where it looks like your hair grew out you're gonna have to remove them sooner than you wanted i would suggest watching a few videos to kind of see get an idea and i personally like to place them a little bit farther down than normal just because i don't like to feel that tugging on my hair so i'm going to place it right about there make sure that my camera is focusing on the right spot and then you're gonna press it down let it stick to your natural hair and when you go ahead and lift it up you will see that some of your natural hair automatically it grabs onto your natural hair because obviously that side is sticky so it's gonna automatically grab onto some of your natural hair and you're gonna go ahead and clip this section up and then taking your rat tail comb you want to make sure that this section has a nice clean part as well. You don't want any zigzags and there's no hair um, like stuck in between where it shouldn't be because when you're gonna be brushing through, even running it through your fingers, you're gonna feel it and it's just not gonna be comfortable. Usually with the traditional method, this is when you take your other section of tape in and you usually sandwich it right on top so you get a sandwich of tape ins but for fine thin hair I'm going to be using these right here this is the non sticky side this is what's going to be exposed and then underneath is the sticky side and that's what's going to be adhering to this section right here so go ahead and peel it off you want to align this as best as possible on top and this is why I recommend having a mirror because it will really allow you to see what it is that you're doing because it can get a little bit complicated if you don't have a mirror. I'm not gonna lie. All right, and then you just hold that, press it down. You can unclip that section, and there you have it. You have single-sided tape and extension. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a few more here, 
and then I'll pop back on here, otherwise this video is gonna be super long. up the last section the f I ended up doing four because five just would not fit so I have one two three four right here and these are longer I am planning to cut them but I kind of want to see what it's gonna look like before I cut them but what I'm gonna do right now is actually place I think I'm gonna place one on top right here and one right here and the ones in the front you do also want to kind of angle a little bit this way, not straight, but a little bit this way. I'm just following guidance of information that I have found online. This one I want to place like right above the ear, right here. My kids are playing so you can probably hear them. I also wanted to say that you want to make sure that your hair is clean when you're working. My hair is like two day hair. I was should have probably should have washed it, but I'm going to wait just because you want to wait 12, say 24 hours to 36 hours. You don't want to wash your hair for at least, I would say, 24 hours because what happened, why I had to take these out is because I was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to wash my hair and I'll be fine. And then I ended up, um, they ended up slipping out as I was blow drying my hair. So you want to give them at least 12, 24, 36 hours to kind of adhere to the hair. This one I want to go ahead and place right here. Again, you want to go ahead and make sure this is clean part as well. Then you're going to take the single sided tape and align that right, sandwich it right on top. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So it is the next day. I wanted to show the hair when it is washed and kind of styled instead of having a two day hair. So I'm gonna show you guys the back. I ended up doing two, one more row. So I did two rows total. In the first row I have four sections and then in the second row I have three. I was going to do more but I, the way that I placed them I wasn't able to squeeze in anymore. I added the second row because I wanted to keep some of the length. I did cut it a little bit. Here's my natural hair right here and then this is the extension. So it's like a few inches longer but I just wanted a little bit of length. I don't know. I'm going to see. But I went ahead and washed it and styled as well and this is what it looks like. I definitely love these single sided tapes. I feel like they don't add as much weight to the hair. It's just like a nice way to add some volume, a little bit of volume if you want more of a semi permanent option for fine thin hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link the single sided tape I found although they do have other options on Amazon as well and then also the remover. So I'll link those two down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.